All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build AI research agents that automatically track sub pricing from online stores, uncovers new content ideas, and hunts for deals across any website. Let's jump in. All right, so how do we actually do this? Well, first and foremost, our agent needs to be accessible through Claude Desktop. I prefer to test from there. We'll also do a walkthrough of how to set it up in Google Agent Development Kit. Now, our agent needs a few tools. First and foremost, it needs to be able to go and do really good web search. It needs to be able to extract data from e-commerce stores like Shopify stores, Amazon, Etsy, things of that nature. Now, if you've ever built any web scraping utility, you would know that it can be super tedious dealing with captures, JavaScript rendering, um, rate limiting. There's just so much to deal with. So I've been looking for utilities that can help abstract all of that away. And I recently came across one called Bright Data. We'll talk a little bit about that. But in the meantime, let's truly understand how our MCP is going to be connected to our agent and how MCPs work, generally speaking. MCPs make it possible for agents to interact with tools, prompts, and resources, and it allows you to distribute across multiple agents. There's so many of these agent frameworks that are beginning to adopt it. So whether it is LandGraph or Agent a Development Kit from Google or Claude or through AI. So the way it works is client starts the interaction. Uh, so you, you might be using any of these agents and the agent is given access to an MCP server. That MCP server is going to contain a bunch of tools. So for Bright Data, for instance, it has a scraping utility, a search engine utility. It has special utilities that interact with different types of websites. So whether it is Amazon, or Walmart, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, you could do so many amazing things, including even Facebook Marketplace. So there are so many opportunities. I find that this can be really useful, especially when you're dealing with e-commerce use cases, like where you're trying to do things like pricing intelligence, you're trying to do some SEO optimization type agents. If you're trying to build these types of agents, I think this would be like a really good set of tools to use. So I'll show you a few examples that I've been working on and show you how to set it up as well in Google ADK. All right, so let's talk about Bright Data. So what they do is to provide a set of utilities that your agent can use to interact with the web in different ways. So what are you doing? Things like extraction, where you want to pass a link and get data back in a specific format. You want to do a search engine type um, operations. So searching in specific geolocations, things of that nature. They also have a crawling utility. So you want to index an entire site and structure that data into maybe store it as an embedding for RAG, things of that nature. They also provide remote servers that allows your agents to interact with the web. So when you have these sort of computer use or web interaction type use cases, you're able to actually do them uh, seamlessly. And you know, in looking at what they're able to do, what has been really impressive is how easy it is to set up. So all you really need to do is to spin up an account I'm going to drop a link in the description uh, for this particular web page so you could get started. And I'm also going to show you very, very quickly how to set this up in our agent. Once you sign up, you actually get an API key spun up for you. So you can grab this particular API key and use it. And by the way, I'm also going to drop the GitHub repo for their MCP server, which has like the quick start guide uh, that you can follow to get started with uh, using this particular MCP server. From the documentation, this is how to set up the server. Uh, the command is MPX. Uh, these are the arguments. And then the environment variables that you have to think about is just this API token. So you grab your API token and you put it in here and then you can uh, put this MCP uh, into your different services. Now, the easiest way to actually test out your MCP server is using Claude Desktop. All right, so let's test it out in Claude Desktop. So I already have it set up right here. So you can see my bright data, 48 tools that we have right here, which is pretty cool. Um, now to set up uh, in Claude Desktop, what you need to do is to go to the developer section. You need to go ahead and open your app config file. And this shows you your entire MCP server uh, configuration. Um, and you can see mine right here. I've added it already. Uh, so you go ahead and just simply add it in here. So you just add the MCP server 
and then your API token and all of that. And that's all you really need to do. You go back into your Cloud Desktop. You want to go ahead and reload the MCP configuration. This ensures that the MCP is loaded correctly. All right, so let's test out a particular use case. Now, this is a use case I'm actually working on uh, for a pharmacy. Um, so this pharmacy basically is trying to track prices of their competition. If you have a Shopify store, for instance, this would be a really good one for you and you're trying to do some automation or you have a client who owns a Shopify store and you're trying to build agents that help them do pricing intelligence. Pricing intelligence is so key for e-commerce stores. You want to know exactly what your competition is selling um, a particular product for so that you are pricing competitively or making sure that you're not leaving money on the table. Here we have this uh, specific uh, collection page. So let's go ahead and ask our question. So let's go back to Claude right here. I'm gonna grab this link. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're gonna basically say, scrape this specific web page, extract a list of products and their prices. So let's just go ahead and do that. So here we expected to use the scrape as markdown. And what you're going to get back is basically a Markdown formatted response. So you can see it right here. So let's just open this up so you could get a sense of what this looks like. So you can see the response. You see the text and it's just basically pulling back all the information on that particular play page, cleaning it, cleaning it entirely up, right? Because this is where the problem is. Like scraping websites really, really difficult because there's so much going on on a page but it's able to do that pretty well. So we can see right here, we have all of our products has been scraped. So let's tell it to pick the first five and find the pricing for those five in well.ca and return in a comparison table. All right, so here, what I want to do is pick five of those uh, products and go search well.ca. So well.ca is another pharmacy provider uh, here in Canada. I want to look at what the prices look like in this uh, in this store. So you can see first and foremost, what it's doing here is like it's using a search engine uh, tool to generate this query. So it's going to well.ca and it's looking for everywhere you have this specific each product. So it's doing it for all the five products I mentioned. So this is for product one, product two, three, four, and five. So it's gonna pull all that all of that information back. And it's gonna use that to create a table. And we're gonna see that table right now. I think he's gonna create an artifact anyway. So you see it's it's really finding the results. It's pulling all of that information in and we're gonna now see that table is, is drafting an artifact. And that's why I really love, uh, you know, Claude for this is because it's really easy for you to use this to do, especially to test out the prompts and see what's working and what's not uh, before you start actually building it. So you can see right here, it's been able to go pull information from, you know, from the different websites and, and also show the price differential. This is pretty amazing if you kind of think about it right now what's happening behind the scenes when you think about it is remarkably crazy right we're going and doing a lot of scraping and and search and it's all handled for you by this mcp server you don't have to write any tool for this it's all all handled and it scales that's the thing that is really really good is like it scales you're not going to run into rate limiting issues and all of these types of things i typically see when you're you're using these uh web scraping utilities so this has been really um amazing for me to use all right so now let's jump in i want to show you exactly how you can build this out for yourself um obviously you use you can use it in cloud but most times you want to build it out uh, for, for your own use. Now, I'm going to be using Google ADK. So that's Google Agent Development Kit. It's a, one of the latest frameworks from Google for building agents. Why do I like it? Because it has a web interface that allows you to test things out. Now, one thing I figured when I was going through all of this is that the Bayes uh, MCP tool set has this weird timeout issue. So I had to use a custom MCP uh, tool set and I passed in 60 seconds to make sure the five seconds thing is not an issue. But basically the way you set it up, uh, you set it up the way you set up, uh, you know, any MCP server, you have a command, you have your environment variable. So I have that in my .env file here. Um, and then the arguments are going to be bright data slash MCP. 
Um, then you create a root agent. So we're using Gemini Flash here. Uh, so Gemini 2.0 Flash is what we're using. Uh, we're going to give our agent a name called Research Agent, and we're saying you're you're an SEO research assistant. So I was just trying to build like an agent actually to help me research angles or YouTube topics that haven't been covered so I can make content around those types of things. So I built like a Slack app that I can use for that. I also put the Slack application actually in this repo as well. So if you're interested in building something like that, if you want to build like a Slack app for yourself, that's amazing. You could do that to run ADK. Once you've uh, done that, all you need to do is ADK web. And now it should be running on my server. Let's go check it out. Is it running here? So let's do some research here and want to see how our agent does with this research. Okay. So I'm going to say find all the videos, uh, related to MCPs. And as I would like to find an angle that has not been covered yet so it says okay so based on the search results here's an analysis of potential gaps for mcps so explanation of mcps uh use cases tutorials benefits limitations so on and so forth okay so cool so this is where it says uh, these are the topics that are covered and these are topics that are still sort of open um you know around mcps so i can do something like find me the top deals for tvs Walmart let's see here you could actually see and this is what I love about uh, Asian development kit as well you could see very very quickly what uh, which of the, the tools is being used so it's using the search engine tool in this case I think it's used the search engine tool all the way you can see the top deals uh, has a dedicated shop page and da 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 examples of deals mentioned include this 45% off and so on and so forth. I recommend visiting the pages directly. Can I just say go to those links and get me the the exact prices? Let's see how it does. Now this time around, I'm, I'm expecting that it's gonna go use scraping. So there we go. It's using scraping this time around. So if you could go ahead, you can see it. it's using the scrape as markdown. Um, so which is pretty cool. So here you can now see the exact prices of each of these uh, televisions. So now I've also added this um, as a Slack application. So you could use that so we could select a uh, land graph because I, I've, I've also created a land graph application and I can also do something similar here. So I'm just going to send a message and say, scrape this link and return all products and the prices. Okay, there we go. These are all the stuff. So, so in addition to the ADK implementation, we've also added an implementation for LangGraph, which is what powered our Slack application, um, as well as a Slack application in here. Uh, I'm going to add instructions on how to get it set up uh, in the readme file for the GitHub repo. Uh, so you could try it out. There you have it. That is exactly how Bright Data can power your agents. We just saw how it powered our Claude agent as well as our ADK agent. And we saw the implementation in Slack, which is powered by LandGraph. Um, all the implementation is going to be in the GitHub repo. So you can check that out and implement on your end. I'm just going to say this. If you're going to be building any of these tools for your clients, for teams that you work with, and you want something that's going to scale uh, without all the headache of dealing with web scraping utilities, I think Bright Data is the right type of tool to use. Until next time, do have a great one and talk to you soon and keep building.